Hey, it's Rob. And I'm Susie. And it's time for Mountain Talk. Hey, Rob, I've got some good news for you today. Do you? Yeah. Well, you know more about it than I do, but we have a new Chamber of Commerce here in Pine Top Lakeside, and it's Chamber of Commerce for Pine Top Lakeside. Yes. And I've highlighted that in red because it's on Facebook, and that's how you find it. And it says Chamber of Commerce for Pine Top Lakeside. Yeah. And they had their first mixer uh, last this past week, and they had a great turnout. You were there. And yeah. I'm excited about having a chamber. It's businesses for businesses. Yeah. So you tell me what you learned. So I'm glad you brought this up on this show because this is obviously for the people that are coming and visiting and everything, and they typically would gravitate toward a chamber of commerce when they're looking for the events, activities, information. Right. And that's actually our visitor center, which is here. But we're not called the chamber of commerce. We're we're not. We're the visitor center. And a lot of chambers integrate a visitor center. This chamber is going to be businesses for businesses. So if you're looking for them to have, you know, immediately off the bat, a directory and all that, it's not going to exist there yet. They'll end up getting a business directory. But the primary focus is going to be helping the businesses within town. So understand that if you're looking at the chamber for the town of Pine Top Lakeside, it's not the visitor center. That's right here at Town Hall. So <laughs> and you, I'm right there with them. And that's so. Susie that does that. So. <laughs> Susie and Alana. Yes. So, no, it was a great meeting. Uh, it was great to see a lot of people that came in and, and the businesses are going to be able to help each other uh, do business. So right. that's their focus. Well, I was looking on their Facebook page and you posted some of the pictures from the last meeting and there was maybe a hundred people there yep. and they were the who's who of the businesses and they're going to help each other. They're going to bring in businesses for the restaurants, and then the movie theater is going to be there, and they're going to tell people to go to the movies yep. and and it. buy locally, shop local. So there you go. I'm excited. Segue that into something that's going on that also involves our community members, but also can involve the uh, people that come and visit as well. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, it's the corridor study, the S uh, uh, the SR. Don't think of it as SRP, but the State Route 260 is having in a corridor study and it's on our Facebook page and it's town of the town of Pine Top Lakeside Facebook and Rob you've pinned it right at the very top I went in and looked at it I've already done their quick little survey but this is where you can actually pin your comments on what you want to see done to have a dot do on the 260 and I read those comments and some of them are very valid on the right you'll see a little blue thing that says comment add comment you click right. on that it's gonna ask a category Like it'll be like transportation or walking or biking. You're going to take that and you're going to go over to the map and you're going to click an exact spot of of maybe where you've had an experience or you think there could be improvement. And then you write in the comment. Right. In in uh, some of them that I saw, one of the focuses was uh, for bicycles. Yeah. Because we really don't have safe fi- bicycles. I do not recommend people go on the 260 with their bicycles. So yeah. anyway, uh, go and look at the corridor study. Make your comments there. Again, it's at the town of Pine Top Lakeside. It's on our Facebook. And it's real easy to maneuver it through. If awesome. I can, anybody can. Cool. So. <laughs> Uh, just an update on the Nature Center. They're still trying to put it all together. We've had a little weather, so it's still not up and running yet. But the Eagle Fest has been rescheduled. It's going to be Saturday, February 24th. Yes. So uh, we're support them. Uh, hopefully we can get this one off again. We, uh, the weather has been great. The skiing up at sunrise, I understand, is phenomenal. I've heard nothing but phenomenal reports about the powder up there. So Well, and um, our fr- several of our friends that work with us here in town, they've gone up and they can attest to how great it is. Sweet. Uh, the food, they've also commented how great the food is. I love the wings. I had the wings up there at a dry rub wing. Really? It was phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, and the, the hotel is open. Yes. The Sunrise Hotel, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they also have uh, awesome food in their kitchen. So if you're out for a drive or something, I think in the evening, if you're still up in that area, stop by the hotel, see the new improvements, and have dinner. There you go. Okay. Uh, Val, speaking of dinner, wow, are we good or what? Yeah, yeah. you're like Segway <laughs> Queen today. I am, I am. I have been off work for a few days, so I'm ready to go here. Uh, Valentine's Day is obviously Wednesday the 14th. We have added several of the people that have said they're going to have a special for your, your wife and your 
girlfriend and or one or the other folks, not both. Ladies, you can take your husband out. <laughs> There's no yes. rule here. There's no rule, you know. Oh, that's true. You know, it is Valentine's together yeah. day. So. And besides the restaurants, and most all of them are having specials, don't forget the spa packages. There you go. People are having, you know, the couple's massage, go in, even mom. Mom loves to have Valentine's. Don't forget your mom's on this deal. But just running through them quickly is Charlie Clark's Hungry Buffalo, El Rancho, Honda, Snowflake Smokehouse, Cattlemen's, and everybody else in town. Specials. So take them out. And the Pasta House. Don't forget that. Oh, oh, you just told me the Pasta House. That's your favorite hangout, man. You were... One of them. Yeah. (laughs) One of many. Yes. Uh, Just a few more uh, reminders. If you want something to do, you have folks coming in town. Arizona Mountain Coffee does their painting. Uh, Kittles does that down on uh, down in Solo as well. They usually paint on Saturdays. Uh, check those two people out. Do some painting. Uh, Lions Den, Tuesday Trivia, Wednesday Karaoke. And I have one more thing to say. What's that? Be kind and be nice. And on that line, I was in Safeway and a little lady was in a, a walker mm-hmm. and she's just looking around lost. And I immediately went up to her. She was a little bit older than me. And then I'm talking pretty old. And I just asked her, can I help you with anything? And she just looked at me, Rob, like, wow, thank you for asking. But she had her husband with it, with her and he was looking for something too. But just stop and ask somebody, make their day, awesome. smile at them. Awesome. Smile, say hello, and That's right. uh, be kind. And if they're shocked at first, just say, oh, no, we're just, we're just, <laughs> we're just nice here. That's it. Hey, I'm Rob. And I'm Susie. And this is Celebrate. The Make seasons. sure you have fun and uh, do all that and run around town and be good. <laughs>